My name is Sherry Warren, and I had a brother named Keith Warren that was found strung up on a tree in Montgomery County, Maryland in 1986. The day I found out that Keith died was probably one of those days where I, I'm glad I don't recall a lot. It's very emotional, very painful. I was angry that he was gone. I was mad that I wasn't there. I was worried about my mom. I know she was distraught. It was a hard day. The police had told my family that in 1986 that my brother had taken his own life. The police believed that my brother took his own life because of someone at the scene that was undocumented, unknown, unidentified, told them of my brother's prior mental history, told the detective of my brother's prior mental history. The detective then used this information to classify the case as a suicide and used it as rationale to send my brother's body to the funeral home of his choice. Now tell me why you don't think it was a suicide. Because he would have said goodbye. He wouldn't have left me. He wouldn't have left my mom. I'm getting emotional here. I can't for a fact tell you that he didn't do it because I wasn't there. But I can tell you that the evidence that we have collected over the last 35 years, 36 years, has shows that he did not do it. And my simple request from 2012, 14, 18, and 20 is that for the Montgomery County Police Department to show me their evidence that he did do it scientifically, factually, and or medically. Hell, I'll take one of the three. There was a set of rules for them and a set of rules for us. And unfortunately, the, the, the scales were not balanced. And if Keith had been a blonde haired, blue eyed individual, I'm pretty sure we would be sitting here having this conversation today. Keith was my protector. <laughs> He would have spoke up for me. He fought for me when he, was, when he was here. So I'm fighting for him. And I'm fighting for my mother and I'm fighting for my family and I'm fighting for everybody that doesn't have a voice. My mom would say, this is, my issue is not your issue today, but to continue to ignore my issue and my issue will one day become your issue. And in 1986, my mother said this, and we're still having this conversation. Today, I want people to take away specifically speaking about Keith Warren, is that he was loved and he mattered. You know, they say black lives matter, Keith's life mattered.